I'd be accused of trying to take credit for Aespa's Karina's success with UP. The K-pop landscape is once again buzzing with controversy as HYBE faces accusations of attempting to capitalise on Aespa member Karina's recent solo success. Her track UP, a special release tied to the group's tour, has made significant waves on the charts, but the circumstances surrounding its promotion have raised eyebrows among fans and industry insiders alike. Karina's breakthrough with UP Karina's UP has quickly risen to prominence, hitting top positions on various South Korean music charts shortly after its surprise release on October 10, 2024. The song, while officially categorised as a special track, has been heralded as one of the most successful solo efforts from a girl group member in recent years. This impressive achievement has brought Karina widespread recognition for her vocal talents and captivating dance performances, especially as her dance challenge videos rapidly gained popularity on social media. However, as the buzz surrounding UP grew, fans began to notice a strange pattern in online discussions. A series of posts began flooding various online communities, all with identical titles and content, asserting HYBE producers getting excited at Karina's success. These posts linked HYBE's involvement to the track's rising popularity, which many found suspicious. Allegations of manipulation. Critics pointed out that the posts were strategically released around the same time and all contained details about the songwriting credits for UP. Notably, while Karina was credited for the lyrics, prominent high producers, such as Slow Rabbit and PXPILLON, were credited with the overall songwriting and production. This division of credit has led to accusations that Hybe was trying to insert themselves into the narrative of Karina's success, framing it as a collective achievement rather than an individual triumph. Comments from netizens expressed disbelief at Hybe's apparent attempts to co-opt Karina's success. One user remarked, they want to crush Aespa, but they also want to ride on their coattails while others found the situation comical, questioning the company's motives and strategy. They want to beat her, but also want to copy her, said another, encapsulating the confusion and frustration felt by many fans. Industry implications. This latest controversy adds to the growing discourse surrounding Hybe's practices, particularly in how they manage their artists and leverage their successes. Fans have previously voiced concerns about perceived favoritism within the company, as well as the treatment of ASPA members compared to their peers in other groups. As the debate unfolds, Karina's performance of UP continues to receive praise, highlighting her talents and the hard work that contributed to the track's success. The situation remains a hot topic within the K-pop community, raising questions about artist representation and credit within the competitive landscape of the industry. Conclusion as fans rally to support Karina and Aespa, the ongoing conversation about HYBE's alleged attempts to take credit for the success of its artists underscores the complexities of the K-pop industry. With the dynamics of artist management constantly evolving, the outcomes of these discussions may have lasting implications for how artists are recognised and celebrated in the future. The K-pop world watches closely as this narrative develops, eager to see how it will affect both Karina and Aespa in the long run.